Hello everybody, Anyahaseo. My name is Chef Mike Daddy and welcome to Mike Daddy's Divine Kitchen. I am so excited because all week I will be teaching you some of the most iconic dishes in Korean cuisine. And I know that a lot of my high school classmates from high school that are from Korea that are watching this show is going to be so proud of me and so excited because a lot of these dishes came from their restaurants as well as from my Korean godmother when I used to go to attend a Korean church for almost uh, four years. Uh, please, before we get started, click on the link below. Go ahead and then hit the subscribe button. Also, next to the subscribe button, please click on the alert bell because by clicking on the alert bell, you get up-to-date announcements or alerts uh, when my tutorials come out. I like to make sure I get all of the blood out of my meat and also I uh, just put ice cubes in. I let it soak for like 30 minutes to everything is done. This is roughly about four pounds of beef. One thing about Korean cuisine and about Koreans when they're eating, which is really amazing, it's very different than Americans, is that Koreans, um, they treat meat not like Americans do, or it's just a main course. Meat for them, when they have these, have different sizes, is more like a condiment. It's, a, it's an addition. It's almost like a complement to all the food that you're eating. You know, so that's why they stay so nice and slim. And Okay, this is going to be really fast here. Um, I've gotten all the blood, drained my beef, and it's nice and clean. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the bulgogi sauce. Remember the episode I told everybody how to do my bulgogi and I canned it? The bulgogi, when I do my sauce, I love for my sauce to be nice, nice and thick like this. This is a perfect sauce and it smells so divine. Oh my gosh. And shame on my friend who's watching this. I gave you my recipe and here you are making all this money every month and never even sent me a gift basket. So therefore, I'm giving everybody the recipe now for free. So what I'm, I'm pouring about probably like one cup to two cups in here. Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna massage your beef. You wanna make sure that all that sauce is in there. Oh gosh, this smells so good. I can't wait to put this on the grill and grill this. Okay. Now what I want to do is, I'm going to chop up one onion. Mix this really nicely. You just want to mix this up really nice. God, that looks so delicious. I cannot wait to cook this. And this is done. Now what I want to do is I'm going to separate this in bags. This is enough for two people. Okay, so what I'm doing now is, I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of salt in each one of them, because I wanna make sure it has plenty of salt when I'm cooking this, because I haven't decided which dish I'm gonna do next. And that is done. We can seal this. Signed, sealed, delivered with love. Any bags, any excess uh, Korean barbecue sauce, you just wash it off with a towel and you're done. And that's it, and I'll be right back after putting this in a freezer. Hello everybody, it has been one day. I've let my barbecue sauce 
uh, my fugu ghee, my beef, and my uh, Korean barbecue sauce. I let it marinate overnight. It's been 24 hours. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil. No more than like a tablespoon. Oh, that looks so good. Smells amazing. Oh my God, I think I, this is too much for me. Made enough for two people. This is actually enough for three people. Let's okay, I skipped dinner today. Let it cook until well done. And for those who want uh, medium, you can cook it any way you like. I chopped some onion, fresh onions from my garden, right here, and diced it very thin. I'm just adding just a little bit on top. There's an episode that I already had had done right before this on toast, how to toast uh, sesame seed. Sprinkle a little sesame seed on top. You don't want to sprinkle a lot because you're going to put a little bit more on top right when you put it on your serving plate. Okay, and this is almost done. While this is cooking, if you haven't already done, so I know you're tired of me saying this, but it's really important because, um, you know, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And also, uh, hit the alert bell so you can stay up to date with all my latest tutorials. Um, next after this, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make some classic Korean galbi. Korean spare ribs. And this is finished. Oh my God, it smells so divine. Put this in my nice serving dish. Mmm, that looks so delicious. I'm just having a store bought uh, a store bought kimchi right here. Uh, this right here is dakwan, which is uh, dakwan is a pickled uh, Korean relish. It's very well known in Japan and also Korea. But it's a staple dish. I just it goes well with everything, especially when we have a Korea because it's a little sweet, a little salty, a little sour. You know, this right here is considered to be the holy trinity, the yin and yang of Korean cooking. You have spicy, a little sweet and sour, you have the sweet, and then you have your rice, a balanced, perfect meal that's not fattening. Okay, let's give this a try. Mmm. The beef is so tender, it's so delicious. Mm-mm, mmm, that's good. Mmm. All of the flavors from the sauce is so well balanced. Mm, have a sip of champagne. Next up, I'll be teaching you how to make classic Korean galbi, Korean beef spare ribs. See you guys later.